Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video on our 2013 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport in beautiful Barcelona red. And what we're doing today, we're so excited. We got some beautiful things lined up. We got some stuff coming. We got some stuff coming in the middle of the week that we got to get ready for. So what we got to do today is we got a brand new lift kit from torchoffroad.com. They've been around since the turn of the century, building these metal lift kits for these trucks. And, and you know what? This thing is amazing. It's a full three inch lift kit. It fits a 2005 to 2021. So if your truck falls into one of those categories, this lift kit's for you. We got a three inch lift for the front, two inch for the back, and then we got our differential drop. So let's unbox it here and see exactly what we got. Alrighty guys, that stuff was packaged well. I mean well packaged. We cut all of that stuff off with the razor blade. We got everything laid out here. If you've never put one of these kits in, let me tell you real quick what they are. So here's our hockey pucks. Go right on top of our struts up front. That's easy, easy. Here's our blocks that sit right on top of our axles in the rear. You know, just jumps our springs right up. These are our, U, our new U-bolts. Then we've got some bolts and nuts. And then basically this is our differential drop. Just easy stuff. You know, we, we put these kits on. A lot of trucks are easy to do. We're gonna show you how to do it in your garage using a couple of jacks, a couple of jack stands. It's really easy. Before we get started, let's measure this truck because it looks like it's got a little bit of rake. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna measure it from here to here and on the back the same way. We're gonna record what we're at now and what we're at when we're done. So let's see what we got. The rough estimate at the end of the wheel is 34 and a half, 34 and a half. On the rear, we're looking at about 36 and a quarter. So 34 and a half up front, 36 and a quarter in the rear. Let's see how much we improve that. So you know what? Let's stop talking, let's start working. Alrighty, man, this job is going really good. So what we gotta do, what we gotta get off of this thing to get the lift kit in, we got it up on both sides, got it up on jack stands, got the front tires off, and we're gonna start taking some of this stuff loose. So we got the sway bar link loose, brake line loose, we got our speed sensor wire loose. We're gonna take this brake caliper off, and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tie it over here somewhere out of the way. Then we're gonna try to scoot this sway bar link completely out of the way. Now, hopefully we can just turn it up out of the way. And then we'll, we'll probably set in and take our steering knuckle loose right here. Pop that sucker out, get these three bolts up at the top loose. Then we'll be all set. We'll get the strut out. We'll get our block put on. We'll go put it right back together in reverse order. So let's hop back to it.
All righty, man, we're making really quick work of this job. So we have got our caliper hung up here. Everything's loose. We got our speed sensor loose, our brake lines hanging out over here. We just got the steering knuckle loose. We got the, we got our sway bar loose, end link hanging down there. So what we got to do, we probably just get this rotor out of our way. And I think the next thing we want to do is probably get this tie rod in loose, pop this cover off, take our axle loose so we can really swing this steer knuckle out of the way to get that big strut out. So let's hop to it. Let's get back to work. That was an easy job. If you got, you know, we had a little bit of trouble with the bottom bolt. Had to bring out the old trusty torch, but that was easy, easy. We got everything loose. We got this, we got the strut out. So now we got to put our block on right here. And the fun begins of wrestling that sucker right back in there. So we got our, we got our hockey puck here. It goes right on top of that coil over. And then we just use the factory nuts to hold it down when we get all this stuff done we are going to torque it down with the torque wrench so we'll be doing that we're going to tighten all this stuff down we're going to ease this strut back in here and when i say ease i say that loosely we're going to get it all working we're going to get it going we're going to get it done so let's hop to it
All right, guys, man, we made pretty quick work of that. We worked it all out. We got it all in. We showed you exactly how we did it. If you do have a specific question about the front end, what we did, how we did it, always leave it in the comment section. We always reply. This side is looking perfect. So we're gonna jump on the other side and just buzz through that real quick. We'll check back in with y'all when we get to the back. Alrighty, what we got here, we got the truck all jacked up. We got it up on the stands. The rear is generally not that hard to do. Um, JP, he's emptied about half a gallon of PB Blaster on this sucker, so bolt should be just oozing right off here in just a second. But what we got here, it's real, it's real simple. We gotta take the existing U-bolts loose, scoot the axle down, and put this block in. And the way these suckers go is the taper faces the front of the truck. So when you put them in there, just make sure that your taper faces the front of the truck. You got the lineup dowel on the bottom, the lineup dowel on the top. You cannot screw it up if the taper faces the front of the truck. So these U-bolts are a little bit longer. We get them all put in, we get them all tightened up, we get them all torqued down. Torque specs will be in the description. So let's hop to it and let's get it done. Alrighty guys, man, we made quick work of that. We got this whole entire lift kit under this thing and it is turning out magnificent. We love the way it looks. We love the stance that it has, but to finish this kit up, we got a couple more items that we got to stick in. These little spacer blocks right here, they're going to let our differential come down just that much to line our, our CV joints back up on the front axle so we don't wire those suckers out prematurely. So we're gonna get under here and fight this aggravating skid plate, get it out, get the old bolts out, get the new bolts in, get it all put back together. Let's get to it, let's get it done.
Yeah, with this differential kit on on this brace right here, we got it marked. Well, we're gonna have to trim, just trim this little lip off, give enough clearance for our spacer to go in. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut it off, we're gonna get it done, we're gonna get it put right back on the truck. Alrighty guys, we have been working our tails off on this thing. We got looking really, really good. Everything's looking perfect. We want to measure it now, kind of see see where we're at now. Up front, we were 34 and a half up front. So we're gonna measure it right now and see where we're at. So we were 34 and a half to the center of the wheel, and now we are 37 and a half to the center of the wheel. So that's three inches up front. Let's see where we're at at the rear. All right, we are 36 and a quarter at the rear before. Let's see where we're at now, center of the wheel. 39 and a quarter. Look at that, 39 and a quarter. That's three inches at the front, three inches at the rear. We got this sucker, we got this sucker up here. It's looking really, really good. Everything is looking really good on this truck. All righty guys, we have made quick work of installing this three inch lift kit from torchoffroad.com. This kit, is as good as any kit on the market. It's easy to install. No different installing this kit than any of the others that we've installed. Everything went in together like it was supposed to. Everything turned out amazing on the truck. We couldn't be happier with it. We know we're gonna love it. We know y'all are gonna love it. But you know what? Drop us a like, leave us a comment, and this is gonna be a wrap for today's video, guys. So until next time, we're out.